Here we are in the Corcovado mountain. Here we go, Mary Lou from Calgary, Canada. Hi, hi. Hey, thank you so much. Mary Lou, I wish, I hope you come back here. You come here to Rio de Janeiro soon, as soon as you can. Hey, Satan, you too. Just came on, good to meet you, Kelly. I'm from Louisiana, USA. Thank you, Wayne, for sharing. Where are you? Satan, what about you? You told me once. Could you remind me where are you watching this tour from today? Today, the weather here. So good. Calcutta in India. Amazing. I have a few friends in India. And when I go, I will try to go with and meet one of them at least and visit as much as many people I can. Because traveling is also about connecting with people we know and also reconnecting and creating uh, more opportunities to dig in deeper levels of friendship. Yes, Mary, I will. Actually, I wanted to do that today, but I had other things coming up, so I couldn't do it. And I would do the part one, which is downhill. Yeah, in the Cosme Valley neighborhood, where the train station is located. Some of you uh, might have arrived at the beginning of the tour. Maybe you got a little part of me inside of the train. So, oi, oi, bom dia. Boa tarde, verdade. So uh, it's very exciting. Is Stephanie much love? Stephanie is a tour guide from Ecuador. She is located in Quito and we will call you to be present on her tours because at this month in a few tours, Hego is weaving their commission toward Stephanie because Ecuador is going through a very difficult moment now and not only Ecuador, but also the whole Latin America with the politics we are going and gravated by COVID, but especially in Ecuador now, the economic crisis is really big as well as in Venezuela, as in Cuba, and it's much worse than in Brazil. Prices has uh, skyrocketed, and then Hego is weaving their commission in favor of Staffy to help her do some income since soon she might have to interrupt her tours because of the political issues that are going on in Ecuador. If you're not aware of, please get some background information, go to her tours and be acquainted of what's going on. I think these tours and this uh, Hego and platforms such as these are a great opportunity to connect with in history, in real time experiences with local people and with the guides and then support directly the people in need. Okay, thank you, Steffi, so much. I hope you also uh, are able to stand up for your country, for your community and do the best you can to thrive and go through this crisis. Much love. Let's go. Our tour started in the Christ Redeemer, so for the Corcovado Mountain. Yeah, she's awesome and so young. She's 28, the age my daughter is 26, my daughter Hannah. For those of you who had taken tours with me in Bahia, then you saw my daughter, you met her. She's there working and living. And she is soon this week, she will apply for a work experience in Australia. So please cross your fingers. So soon my daughter will get a work position and who knows in one year we'll be traveling to Australia to get some work experience there as well. And uh, I'm supporting her, cheering for her. She's working really hard in Bahia to make, be able to make this dream come true. Going abroad to work and go forward, move forward in her career path. Thanks Marjorie for joining LS. Please let me know what's your name. Trisha from New Zealand. Thank you, Mary. You're so close. And I know you're always cheering for us. Thank you so much. Hi from Belgium, Mar Marjorie. 
So here we are in the most visited attraction in town. When we get here to Rio de Janeiro, many people and mostly people we want to come here to Corcovado. My name is Kelly Tavares. We are here in a group of 23 people seeing this live stream. And I'm going to share a little bit of the surroundings and soon you go up to see the statue. Now, uh, I'm Kelly Tavares from Rio Encantos. I'm a travel agent. Please follow me on Instagram and my YouTube channel, Facebook uh, page at Rio Encantos. Please look. Let me see if I can get some focus here. Rio Encantos tours and experiences to get some background experiences in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So if there are any other tours that you'd like to see featured, uh, please follow me also on HeyGo uh, for my profile. If you wanna have a private session, I'm also present in other platforms such as Amphi from Israel or Discover Live from US, Go With Your Guide, as well and you can have a uh, close a uh, private section or with groups to see some of your favorite experience featured in rio de janeiro and also depending on the place in brazil i can also arrange that i'm also a tour guide running live tours in the city historic cultural tours and also hikes but due to the the limitation of signals Wi-Fi signal, I don't usually do the live stream uh, of nature, wilderness, because there won't be many antennas. But now, look, I'm uh, kind of against the sun, three quarters right, as you can see, the light, if you like photography. Hey, Maria, I am. Thanks for joining. Here, the sun is on this right side. You see the shade on my face? And here there's a little bit of shadow. I'm going to switch the camera and you have an idea of that up front from my view. We are in the top of the Corcovado mountain. You can see kind of on a silhouette, the towers of the Antinas there up on the mountains in front of you on your right. So that's why you are being able to listen to me and to see this image. But soon I will move all the way up towards the statue of the Christ Redeemer and we will have some instability instability on the signal Wi-Fi signal okay but then what I'm gonna do I already know a few pre-tested spots where the signal will come back and I recommend you stick with me so I can get to those points and you see the Christ statue cross your fingers that's what I, I I've tested previously for and what I Hope it happens today. So can you see the images there? There's a beautiful light of the sun coming across in between this mountainous geographic landscape of Rio de Janeiro, where you can have an idea of how mountainous this is with cascades of mountains, uh, which are called the Sea Mountains, Serra do Mar. And everything that you see from here up front in the mountains is part of the Tijuca National Park. In the very, very back mountains where you can just see a very light shade that is from the uh, Parque da Pedra Branca State Park, the biggest urban forest in the world. Yes, there's plenty to do and see in Rio de Janeiro. And I invite you to come here and join us, such as Anna, Anna Marie, Anna Mary is joining. Thank you so much. And Katie, this is the third time I've tried these and I have a strong feeling it's not going to happen. Usually when the guide talks for 15, 20 minutes, it's to work up to telling us that the original tour is not going to happen. <laughs> Hi, hi, Katie. Yes, because we know when we move, many times it won't, it, it doesn't work. But you know what? We keep trying because many of you want to at least have an idea and a sense on how the landscape is. 
And also, Ela, Ola, Ana Marie. Yeah, let's see, Joey. And also, we take advantage of these spots where we have the signal to give you tips, answer you questions on how to get here to the statue, how to get here to the Christ Redeemer in Corcovado, and give you some background information, answering you questions, because when we don't have the signal, you can't even hear or see anything. So let's see, down here from this part, I can already tell you of the ways that you can get all the way up here to the Corcovado. You see these vans, they are from the Beltur uh, Pioneers Corcovado Enterprise, and they're the only ones allowed to come all the way up here, up mountain, crossing the forest to arrive in Corcovado. You can come with, uh, for example, me, a uh, hire from Rio Encantos Experiences, a van that will bring your group all the way to a certain part to Pineadas, a visitor center, we get the ticket, and then you take this van, this other van, which is from the Pineadas company, and we'll take you all down here to the very base of the statue, on the top of the Corcovado Mountain, which is a mountain of 700, and 10 meters height. From this first part, ah, it wasn't working, Luis. Okay, all right. It started working at this part where I am then. Okay, all right. Thank you for letting me know. You are in Virginia Beach. From Virginia, thank you for joining again. Hey, Abigail. Thanks for following. Yes, follow me on Rio Encantos and hey, go. I'm showing now the views of the sea cascades from Rio de Janeiro. Here I am showing the south zone part of the city, which is uh, seen from here is the Leblon Beach and neighborhood. The Two Brothers Mountain, Rocky Mountain, what we can make a one hour hike and on the base of this mountain is surrounded by the community of Favela do Vidigal. Now, down there, there is a tunnel that we cross over and we go all the way to that part of town, which is in São Conrado and the mountain, and also Barra da Tijuca on the west zone part of the city. And on the top of this plateau and mountain, is the Gavia Rock, which is a two hour and a half hike all the way up. Here, it's a very fun thing to, from the top of the mountain of Pedra Bonita, people fly with their hang glide and paraglides, landing on the São Conrado beach around here, down there on uh, down mountain. Now, everything that you see in this lush scenery is the Tijuca Forest. Oh, Mary, the sun is very big indeed from here. And it's 80 Fahrenheit today, perfect weather with a warm breeze, 27 centigrades, a very a nice warm sun. And it's winter, almost winter in Rio. It's fall, autumn, perfect time of the year. Actually, Rio de Janeiro, for me, in my opinion, from uh, April to November, it has the most perfect, the perfect weather in the world because it's that a little, can be a little bit chilly, not rainy in this, from this period of time and temperatures ranging around 27 centigrade, 30 centigrade, 80, 85 Fahrenheit. Now from down, from up here, it's now uh, 4, 4, 13. Thank you for your question, Tricia. So here you can see also a view to the south, which is Leblon Beach. And here there has a viewpoint in Leblon. Many people stayed in this wealthy neighborhood. Many politicians live here as well. There is a helicopter 
flying here. So this is another fun thing to do when, when you come to Rio to book. And I can also arrange that when you come. And to your friends when they come, uh, helicopter flight uh, surrounding this uh, South Zone area, Christ statue, the Sugarloaf Mountain, and the West Zone part of the city as well. So my pleasure, Tricia. So down here, you see Leblon neighborhood. And in the middle that you don't see anything, it's just the strip of water, which is the connection of Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon with the canal which separates the Leblon neighborhood from Ipanema famous beach uh, neighborhood and beach. This is the Atlantic Ocean from South America. If you want to check, there is a map here on Hegel. You can check the map to have an idea geographically where we are positioned in the, in the Americas, in the globe as well. And also you can have different buttons. I can also have a new app so I can zoom in Leblon neighborhood and give you a better view of the canal. You see, that's pretty cool. I'm testing this new app. I'm very excited with that. Ah! <laughs> Hi, hi, Joe. You, are you seeing spotting Dana there in Ipanema? Yeah, she's an Ipanema lady. I am a downtown lady. I was born in the city center. Hey, Leanne, thanks for joining. And there are other buttons where you can also remember to support your guide. The more you support me uh, uh, paying for the tours, the more tours I'm going to deliver because you will help me to pay my bills and then I will be able to research more and focus more and offer more experiences. Down here is the Jockey Club, the horse track of Rio. And these are the views from Corcovado Mountain, a 710 meters height or more than 2000 height mount height that we are positioned now. In this part of the Tijuca Forest, there is a set of um, palm trees here, exactly here. This is the botanical garden of Rio. The Pindo, the land that we'll talk about the Pindorama, the land of the palm trees and the botanical garden and neighborhood is also located there, surrounded by this beautiful lush scenery. You see Lena, ah, cool. Hey Vera, thanks for joining. Now, I'm going to introduce briefly myself again. I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in Rio de Janeiro, directly from the most visited attraction in Rio. And now I'm going to walk up and, and the signal will fail a little bit. So please stick with me. I'm going to go fast and let you know to show you the beautiful statue of Corcovado, which is up there. I can see it's back from here. All right. The game is starting. When you arrive with taking the train in Cosme Valley train station, you come this is on the left or up steps and you see the back of the statue of the Christ Redeemer from the Corcovado mountain. Look at that. It's a tall statue, uh, it's like a 13 store building. And it's, it was built, the first project in 1927. Its construction started in 1929 and it was inaugurated in 1931. The Christ statue, which is uh, made of concrete, uh, saddled concrete. It was built by engineer and Heitor da Silva Costa with a fundraising through a fundraising campaign of Cardeal São Sebast Dom Sebastião Leme. From the he was uh, like a bishop of the Catholic Church, and actually on the base of the Christ Redeemer there is a, a chapel that unfortunately the signal usually doesn't work in the chapel or near it, but I can try again today. All right, 
So Brazil is the Catholic church, uh, country, the biggest Catholic uh, population in the Americas. So that's why also Cardeal Dom Sebastião Leme with the Catholic Church launched the strategy of having on the top of the mountain where the Corcovado can be seen from different zones of the city and it's one of the highest points in town. Thanks, Carol B, for joining. Where are you joining from? We are here directly from the Corcovado Mountain. And from you see from the south zone part of the city where the beaches are located, Ipanema, Leblon, Botafogo, Copacabana. We're in the US. Also from the north zone part of the city, which is on that side and where the Maracanã Stadium and the peripheries of the country are located. North Carolina, welcome and present. So you see down here, this structure is showing the Maracanã Soccer Stadium, which also had soccer uh, matches during the Olympic Games. So that part of the city is the north zone where the suburbs and peripheries are located. And it's huge, although the most part of the city which is visited and touristic is the old historic town where I live is the where is the city center and also where is the south zone where the beaches are located most tourists stay there although the north zone with the suburbs uh, there are also cultural life and many attractions that people can go to and the statue can be seen from different parts of this north zone as well so then the statue was erected and built up here uh, to welcome you with open arms so please ask your questions whenever you can don't be embarrassed if i don't know the answers i will be uh, researching more and maybe i will know i've been doing tours in rio since 2013 i've done many researches there are many things that i know and many that i don't know now, why I'm standing on the same spot? Because the antennas are here and the Wi-Fi signal is very, very unstable. So to move slowly up and as the signal drops, please let me know and I will move forward and faster to the next um, place with Wi-Fi. 3.30, I'm going to